17 years old, you know, you don't see the high career earnings, he's only 17, but I think we're going to see him, be seeing him a lot more over these next few years. You know, he's, he's definitely a student of the game, he puts in the time, he's going to be good going forward. I promise you that we will see more of this kid. Drini? Ah, oh, man, I feel like this is a push, but based off, you know, experience, I feel like, you know, Deliverance has more experience than Noah. I think Deliverance is going to come on top, like a close game, like 17-14, a game like that. Both of these, you know, both of these competitors in their first matchup were in blowout situations. And it's a different mindset, it's a different mentality, it's different emotions than when you're in a very nip and tuck game. And if these, and if we're kind of reading the tea leaves right, this should be a pretty nip and tuck game. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how, you know, so a young person like Noah responds to something like that. You know, I think the key, th and a, a big key factor in this game is Noah gets the ball at half. If he's able to stop deliverance on this first drive, I think this game could get just as ugly as the last one. Interesting. I'm telling you, Noah is the type of player, he will pour water on you when, when you're drowning, you know. He doesn't care. We've seen him chirping last game. Yeah. You know, he, he doesn't care about none of these guys. He's not friends with none of these guys. He's a 17-year-old kid. He's out here playing the game, and he's going to make it happen. I'm telling you, this kid is the real deal. So two of the three youngest competitors are in the Madden NFL 20 Challenge are in this group in Noah and JD. And Drini, you know, when you take a look, again, you, you were – uh, a, a young cat coming through the scene a little bit. You know, when you make your first, you know, live finals appearance, what's kind of going through your mind? I mean, honestly, just the nerves. You have to deal with the nerves. You know, first game, uh, ah, man, I, my, my legs are shaking out there. So, <laughs> you know, it really is tough, but you do get used to it after, you know, a, you know, playing a lot of tournament games. So, you know, if Mo is right, if we see more of Noah, you know, he's, I feel like he's going to be the same, though. Like, he's just talking trash. I feel, I feel like he's comfortable out there. I don't know how he is. He's 17. But he, he, it looks like he's he already been there before. So Deliverance is going to have the ball first. Offensively, I, I almost feel as if what we saw from the first matchup, you know, this should, could be a shorter game because both teams are going to be running the ball a lot. I, I don't see this game lasting over 30 minutes. You know, these guys are both going to be running the ball. They're both going to be taking the clock with them. And, you know, I, 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 really, I really do think that favors Noah. You know, I know Deliverance is the experienced player, but – no one plays more games than Noah. You know, he plays regs. He play, He was number one on the entire leaderboard in, in Mutt Draft. You know what I mean? And he went 5-0. and oh, You know, I think he's been kind of written off, you know, in this Cinderella group. I would say he's the one player to me that stands out of this group. And the thing about both of these guys is they don't hike the ball quick. Deliverance, he comes on strong close, audibles around, and just audibles back to strong close. Like, he does every look at him. Like, he's coming. This is Deliverance right here. He's coming out on I form slot. But don't expect him just staying here. Like, he's going to just audible around until he sees a look that he likes. Uh, he runs this fullback dive flip. I'm not a fan of it. It's a slow Ooh. handoff, and it's going to be like a, a more likely chance that, that it's going to get blown up in the backfield. As you saw right there, a negative two loss on first down brings up second and 12. I'm telling you, Noah is going to be extremely prepared, especially to stop the run. You know, if Deliverance is going to want to get it done, he's going to have to do it passing the ball. Second of 12, offset eye. And he's running this route combo that we've seen a lot last day. It's the hitch, post route, motion slant. Montana will throw it into the flats. And there goes Montana with that release. That ball got out of there super quick, quick super quick. And if that was Lamar Jackson, it would have got there maybe like a half second later. So that's the biggest reason why Deliverance came up with uh, Joe Montana over Lamar. Which is interesting to me because I think, you know, most, I think most regular players would have probably just auto-picked Lamar right there. I know I would yeah, I actually like the Joe Montana pick. I agree with him. That Lamar Jackson's no good in this game. In this game mode, excuse me. He needs those abilities on him. And I love the audible down. He's probably going to run a RPO stretch bubble, if I had to guess. Third and eight. Here we go. You throw it out to the left side. Brown picks up the first down and more. And it's the worst, man, when you give up a bubble screen on a third and long. It's just like it's so demoralizing, you know, especially, you know, when I play against him, I'm like, dude, I have this man in a bag and then I just let him out of it, give him doing something that you know I didn't, you know, like think was gonna come up. So, you know, I know Noah's not gonna give it up next time. That was just a one time thing for deliverance in that type of situation. But for Noah, you know, when he audibles down, it's it's so obvious what play's coming. You know, you heard me say at the RPO stretch bubble and he had nobody over there to defend it. You know, Kevin King being on an island, you, counting on him to block shed just isn't gonna happen. He's one of the lower overall rated players on your entire team. If you're Noah, you just got to be smarter in that situation and get a guy out there. Deliverance on second down. Begin, begin, begin. Getting into a run formation. 
Handoff goes to Dillon, spins away, then brought down, brings up third down. And we've seen that Fletcher Cox be a beast on salary cap and now in mutt draft making a lot of plays for Deli for Noah early on. This is the situation that Noah wants, wants Deliverance to be in. He knows Deliverance isn't the most flashy passer and I love this. I love him going to this nickel over G. Much better to stop the run and pass. Third and seven. I honestly like this rock combo, although it looks bad. I like this rock combo because I think he's going to throw this out route to B. Yes, there it is. He's got it. He knew it was cover three. Right for the first. You could tell by the coverage. It was going to be cover three. The out route was there. So third and eight converted on this drive. Now third and seven converted on this drive. And you know, Noah's sick right now because he feels like he's played good enough defense to stop Deliverance on this drive. But deliver this is the type of player Deliverance is, like Dreamy said earlier. It's never sexy. Whoa, watch out. Dylan's got some space. Ooh. It's never sexy, but he just gets it done, you know. He he just he just gets it done, you know. Like Dreamy said, that out route, that the route combination, terrible. But he had one route out there that was going to get open, and that's all he needed. That's exactly how he plays the game. A big pickup there for Deliverance, and it's first and ten at the eleven, just outside uh, the ten yard line. Handoff, Curly, not much space to the right side, brought down after a two yard pickup. That was good running defensive sick right there. You know, that could have been an easy touchdown if he didn't get picked up. He avoided the fullback, got the tackle. Instead of a touchdown, it's a second and eight. And I like what Noah just did. He actually put his defense on mana line, so they're going to line up over the wide receivers now instead of going all the way out wide and the numbers. The firm has stopped this halfback dive. Second and eight. Kill him! Kill him! Hits it! Fumble! Oh, man. Picked up by the offensive lineman, though. And like Drini said, something I'm noticing from Noah, he's got some serious run stick work, you know, run defense stick. He is getting back there himself, making those hit sticks. You don't even see that from the top players. You know, a lot of us, we just try to get a guy in position and have another guy follow up. Noah's going right at him, hit sticking himself. This is a little bit of an interesting defensive call right here. There's nobody in the middle of the field. Scanning, deliverance, looking, still looking, Bumble. trying to get away. Bumble. Can he get away? No, he will not. That was on third and seven. It'll bring up fourth, and the field goal team will come out. I mean, I'm just so surprised that Deliverance's his route combo was two. I think he had three streaks out there, and it was like the seven-yard line or eight-yard line. That, like, none of those streaks are you know, over the top or anything. It's, it's the red zone, so you know, I'm not a fan of that route combo that Deliverance put out there. He did just take a sack. Maybe he was just, you know, if nothing was open, he was going to take a sack. So I don't know what Deliverance is doing now. I think if you're Noah, you're pretty happy with that defensive stand. Oh, absolutely. You know, he had a few opportunities to maybe get off the field, wasn't able to do so, but you got you to gotta be happy with holding your opponents to a field goal in this game at all, all times, and we're going to see a serious run game right here. If you thought Deliverance was patient, audibling around, wait till you see this kid. He's going to motion players. He's going to audible different formations. He's going to audible back. He's going to be extremely patient. He's not going to make any mistakes running the ball. This, I'm telling you, this kid is fun to watch, you know, he, he, for me, you know, he's fun, fun to watch for me. I know a lot of people don't like seeing people run the ball, but for me, watching him orchestrate, watching him audible around, I enjoy that type of stuff because it really is impressive, you know, it really is not an easy thing to do to, to recognize which runs are the best runs to run in every situation, and he, and he just knows, you know, he's 17 years old, and he's studied the game, and that's something you got to appreciate. Deliverance draws first blood if you're just joining us. Had the first possession, marched it all the way down. First and uh, almost first and goal, but first and 10 from the 11. Was stymied there, had to punch in three. And we all know Edge Blitz as the run defense, but knowing Deliverance, I don't know if he's going to come out on Edge Blitz because he's such a unique player. He runs stuff that, like, you know, it can catch you off guard and it can win you a game. So I know that he's not going to come out on Edge Blitz because he wants to, you know, catch uh, Noah by surprise with a defense he hasn't seen. And that was really close to being a one-play touchdown early on in this game. It looked like that was John Henderson who ended up wrapping him up. And if John Henderson doesn't make that play, it's going to be a one-play touchdown. So here we go on second down. Good running to the left side, very close to the first down marker. This is it is a first down. This is defense not many people run, but it looks like Noah has reps against it. He's running this dive versus this cover four that Deliverance is running and is just getting five yards a pop. But the thing is, is Deliverance is not blitzing those linebackers, so these guys aren't on a, a run blitz. Oh God. So they're not attacking those there. gaps. They're not attacking those gaps, so it's just easy for Noah to get up the field with that Chris Johnson before he even gets touched. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Noah attack this halfback dive a lot in this game. 
It's second and eight. I, I wonder if Deliverance is just thinking, let's get this guy in uncomfortable down and distance situations. Yeah, that's always the mindset for me, especially especially when I play runners. Always want to put them in dif uh, difficult spots. I'm right there, he man lines. Second and eight. No with the ball. Showing a run formation. Deliverance is not playing bad. He's either going to take a shower call a timeout. Timeout is called. His first of the half, and now he's got two remaining. And after that timeout, I'd like to see him put Chris Johnson back in the game. Uh, he's got Philip Lindsay out there right now. They're going to run stretch to the left. Doesn't matter. He's got yeah, some run, space. Bro. Watch out, Philip Lindsay showing yeah, off that I speed. Big time pickup. That didn't work the way you wanted it to. Right and he, there, I got and he called a timeout. So he called a timeout Please, and doesn't get, get Chris Johnson in the game. And it could be the difference between him having seven points or having a set of four field goal here. Absolutely crucial error there by Noah. So the ball spot at the 30-yard line, first and 10. No, after a huge pickup. His outside cornerback is in his spy right now. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but look at this. Handoff, Johnson goes to the outside, tries to cut back inside, no space there. I'm not a fan of this Duke move. I mean, Duke moves used to be really good in Madden, but you know, if you're, not, it, I only like Duke moves when you're in like one-on-one -on -one situations. Like if there's like a crowd there, you're never gonna get out of there. I like spinning. Spinning, you know, can, it can really dim out, you know, defenders, so. Another stretch, this time to the right, cuts back inside. Good pick up there for Chris Johnson. Brings up third down, third and eight. This is one of those uncomfortable situations that we were talking about, two minute warning. And uh, you know, we talked about it before the match started. This is a quick one. Yeah, and if you guys are noticing, Noah motion his player all the way over, and then he's what he's doing, he's flipping the play. So the cornerbacks are getting confused and running all the way over there. This time he's gonna go to the left. Can he find the space? No, he will not. It is fourth down. And that was such a smart user play by Deliverance. Getting the inside of them, making sure they can't spin him out or anything, and then just he just had a you know, he Noah's only hope was just to try to outrun him, but Bad Bear was just a little too fast right there and he got the tackle. I would have liked to see Noah try to cut that up actually. It looked like he had an offensive lineman that just wasn't fast enough to get out there on the stretch and throw the block. But, you know. It is what it is. You have to kick a field goal. And like I said, that, that Philip Lindsay not having Chris Johnson in the game could be the difference in this game. Just not when he calls that timeout, he's got to get Chris Johnson back on the field. And he even said he's like, oh, it's not Chris Johnson. I forgot. And, you know, that, that could have cost him seven on that drive. Small mistake could have cost him four points. Deliverance now with his second possession. He's got some space. He's got some space. Look at Dylan move. Oh, he's going to the left. He's got tons of space in front of him. Stopped at the 47-yard line. Corey Dylan. He drafted him in the mm. Legends round. What, even when he had the Jets playbook, that was such a risky move. They didn't get Denver playbook yet, and then he was so... Uh, he got really lucky in the last round, got Denver playbook, and then now he can use this two running back system with Mixon and Dylan. It's interesting, oh, Noah not nearly as animated as he was in game number one. Deliverance obviously giving him a very hard time. Oh, Brown's got some space. Watch out. Brown, can he find the edge? Brown oh, can man. to the house. Go, it's a touchdown. And Deliverance is talking back. I want to see if Noah, if Noah scores. I want to see. I need to see a hell game. I need to see Noah score. I need to see these guys cap at each other. I want, I want, I want this to be as entertaining as possible. Come on. And you know, it looks like Noah's really uncomfortable versus that I form slot, you know, which really takes me by surprise because the formation's not all that popular. And the reason it's not all that popular is because it's not all that great, you know. It, he's just not able to get anybody on the boundaries right there to stop the bubble screen. And, you know, it's, a, it's gonna be a touchdown every single time. Take a look at the replay. Good blocking. And then Brown did the rest. Handoff. Johnson to the left. And you know, all these plays are so close to being broken for touchdowns. Sure. And you know, but Deliverance just making those one-on-one -on -one plays with his user, and that's extremely impressive. A minute 29 left to go in the first half. Remember, Noah did have to burn a timeout early. Expect a stretch to the right if he flips. Yep, yeah, he's gonna flip it or run the stretch right. Running it to the right. Johnson oh. breaks one tackle, tries to cut back inside, then swallow it up. Deion That's Jones. so unfortunate right there. Deion Jones, the best linebacker in the game. He just made an incredible play. Block sheds two offensive linemen right there to get around him and make the tackle in the back. Or not in the backfield, but it Short might as well up. be because that was going to be a touchdown. This is third and three. Johnson 
Picking and chooses his way up the middle. Picks up that first down. I see what Mo is talking about. This dude Noah definitely knows what run to run versus certain defenses. And, you know, especially like if he sees a look that you gave him the previous play, he's going to know what to do the next play. So, you know, I, I like what Noah's doing in the run. Dropping game. back to pass this time under pressure. Try to lob it in over the top and it forced a pressure throw. It looked like he was trying to release that tight end on that delayed streak and he just wouldn't go out because he was caught up blocking. And, you know, a little bit of an unfortunate play there for Noah, but he's probably going to go right back to that play because if Deliverance runs that same defense, the same look will be there. He'll have that delayed streak wide open again, but the problem is, will he have time to throw it? Second and ten. Drops back to pass. He's trying Two to Two passes in a row for there Noah. Now he finds it. Howard. Oh, that's got to be a fumble. Come on, man. Deliverance begging for a fumble. Now no huddle. 29 seconds left to go. Just one timeout. Get out Johnson of bounds. stretching it to the left. He's going to get to the out to get to the boundary and is forced out of bounds. You know, he loses four yards right there, but what he did was he, you know, he realized he wasn't going to gain any yards. He wasn't going to get in a field range. So he said, you know what, I'm going to save that timeout. I know if I run to the boundary with Chris Johnson, I can get out of bounds. Very smart decision there by Noah, although he loses four yards. So second and 14, 24 seconds left to go in the first half. And again, we mentioned that, uh, that timeout that was burned early on. And this puts him in a... He's going to run the ball. Oh, he's running the ball. Never mind. Running it, finding a big time hole to the left side. Picks up the first down. He's still on oh his feet. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Can somebody bring him down? 15 <laughs> seconds left to go. Chris Johnson, man. There's just something about him in this Madden 20 game. He's just, he just so glitchy. He just breaks tackles, just runs through people. There's just something about this Chris Johnson that just, you know, he just built, built in glitch. And it looks like Noah is going to settle for the field goal. I love the decision right there. We've seen a lot of players using that timeout early trying to run, force another play, then right. they don't get a field goal before half. I love, Noah, I love Noah's decision to kick a field goal right here. Although he's down four at half, I've seen a lot from him, especially on the offensive side of the ball, where I think he's going to break one of these runs early in this next half, just because deliverance. He, so, so what happens is, when you motion that wide receiver from right to left, the, the I'll get to after that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Super Bowl is just around it's uh, halftime here. It is uh, 10 to 6 with Deliverance leading 10 to 6 here. A four point lead. Let's check in on the other game. We'll send it over to Josh Lewin. Well, in this one, guys, with two teams that had not scored at all initially, Joe Mixon breaking through. He had been bottled up three carries, four yards before this. And there's a 7 0 lead for Trey finally getting through. But. Randall Cunningham will find Marvin Harrison right at the right pylon. This thing is 7-up. Got a real nice game cooking here. Let's get you back to James. Josh Lewin, thank you so much. Super Bowl just around the corner, and what better way to prepare for glory than with Madden NFL 20, now available in the vault for all EA Access and Origin Access members. Play whenever you want, as much as you want. Conditions, limitations, and exclusions apply. See EA.com slash EA access slash terms and origin.com slash store slash origin access slash terms for details. <laughs> All right, let's get back to game action here. We got a tight one. Deliverance leading Noah 10 to 6. It is a four point lead for the grizzled veteran. Can Noah break one of those big runs we saw in the first action in this game? And honestly, he's in, he's in a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations with Deliverance, but Deliverance is just getting the best of him. Uh, you know, if he just makes one guy miss with Chris Johnson, they can be a crib shot, you know, a long run, but Deliverance is making, you know, making him pay. He's taking the wrong route with his running back, and then he just makes the tackle. Two possessions for Noah in the first half. They both ended in field goals. Can he break through and get a touchdown here? That Linval Joseph is getting in the backfield almost every time on the halfback dive, making a ton of plays for Deliverance. Second and nine. And Noah said, you know what, I've seen enough. I'm going to the goal line at the 30-yard line. <laughs> so here we go. Not masking his play whatsoever. You know it's going to be a run, and it is. Johnson right up the middle, nearly broke that tackle, and if he did, he was probably gone. Trust me, he liked that look. He's about to come back, come back in goal line. If he can come out in goal line second night, he's coming out in goal line in third and two. Expect the same run. Third and two. Johnson right up the middle. This time it's a short game, but it doesn't matter. It's a first down. You know, I'm actually surprised at how unprepared Deliverance is because everybody, most people know now, if somebody comes out on goal line on offense, you can just come out on goal line on defense and you're going to stop the runs pretty easily. 
and you know Deliverance staying in this 3-4. Noah's going to come continuously come out in this goal line set just because of that. You know, if he come, if he was matching goal line with goal line, I promise you that Noah would throw this formation in the trash because it's not good versus goal line defense. But if you're going to run 3-4, I would I have no problem with him coming out on goal line every single play. Jarini, what's the is there a risk for Deliverance if he comes out in goal line? I mean, there can be, you know, if he plays too aggressive with the user, uh, if you know, he, although Mo said it stops the run, you know, there is a possibility that he can crib a, crib a run because, you know, like there's no secondary players. They're all up front. So if he gets past that first line of defense, it's just no, no, one, no one near the ball. So, you know, I guess Deliverance is trying to play bend but don't break. He, he has him on a third and four. He just has to stop him right here. Well, that bend, don't break attitude certainly is a big reason why he was able to limit Noah to two field goals, at least in the first half. We'll see. So here we go. Noah running the ball again. Oh, man. Chris Johnson That's on is never going to push Clowney. Five freaking yards. Picks up that That's first down. That's absolutely ridiculous. You're and rewarding delivers. someone who's running straight into their center. Upset with how the game mechanics are going. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. His running back's got full, full head of steam. Clowney fresh off a block. You know, I have no problem with the running back fall, falling forward right there. And what we're seeing right now is whenever Deliverance baselines his defense, Noah's going to be okay with running this halfback dive. And then when Deliverance is man aligning his defense, Noah, Noah's going to go to the stretch. So that's something to watch out for. Every single time the defense is baselined, it's going to be halfback dive. And every single time the defense is man aligned, it's going to be a stretch. It's 10 to 6, 10 to six your score right now. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. There was two possessions apiece in the first half for Noah and Deliverance. This the first possession of the second half. Second and four. Johnson crosses the line, picks up that first down. And I mean, he's hiking the ball as, like, as soon as the receiver is like, over the center. So you might as well call this goal line as well because he has, I don't know how many, but he has everybody in the box other than, and he has like 10 blockers for his running back. So. You know, if you don't have 10, you know, guys to, you know, attack the 10 blockers, you're going to be in a complete disadvantage. You have two outside cornerbacks all the way on the outside doing nothing while he has 10 blockers going up the middle. So if I'm deliverance, man, I need to attack the middle. Make sure he can't run, like, make him do something else, man. Don't let him run dive every single play. Make him run stretch. I don't know. And this Lin Linval Joseph is really getting in the backfield. Although he's not making a ton of plays, he's just getting back there, making no uncomfortable, having to go somewhere else where there's already another player. And, you know, Linval Joseph is the MVP of this game right now for me. Second and eight. Another handoff. This one goes to Lindsey right up the middle, and he's able to pick and choose his way near the first down marker, third and two. And, and Deliverance has been, you know, mad about it, but, you know, when he lets the running back just go full head of steam, you know, he's going to fall forward. There's, there's nothing you can do about it. So if you want to stop that from happening, you should just try to make, you know, make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. I'm not seeing a lot of plays where he's trying to shoot the gap there. Good defensive stop here. Did force him into a stretch run. And Chris Johnson stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now third and two, all of a sudden a four, fourth and seven. And the field goal unit comes out. I would have liked to see him just try to get to the outside there with Chris Johnson. The juke move's not going to work on a user, only the computer. I would have loved to see him try to get outside with Chris Johnson or maybe even spin inside. But I don't like the juke move at all right there. And now, But he's only down by one. You know, He just needs one stop, and he's going to go and kick a field goal. And it'd be crazy to see if we can see a, 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 somebody win the game kicking four field goals. Now, certainly Noah has done an okay job moving up and down the field, but really when it comes down to scoring touchdowns, he just hasn't been able to do it. And I think a lot of credit goes to Deliverance for being able to, again, bend but don't break. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what he's been doing all game. Uh, I thought Noah was actually going to go to the dive right there because the cornerback didn't follow the wide receiver. Actually took me a little bit by surprise that he went to that when he went to that stretch call in third and two. Guys, there's only 17 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. If Deliverance puts together a long drive, it's going to really put some uh, clamps. Oh, watch out! There. Dylan That's found some space on the Tell right me, side. Can he take it to the crib? Dylan Nobody on his horse. Yes, he will. Whoa! Big time shot for Corey Dylan. No one. And now Noah's in a really tough spot. He's going to have to score and get the two-point conversion to tie this game up. Great stick work right there by Deliverance. You know, you heard himself, you That's heard him patting himself on the back. Right there. See you now, vision to get to the outside. Bring him back, Pittsburgh. Bring back Bell. I want him. How about that? Deliverance fired up. And the person I thought that was going to have a run in this game was Noah. Man, was I wrong. Noah getting brought down just shy of the 30 yard line. Let's take another look at the Snickers touchdown replay. Mo, the stick work, pretty good. 
from Corey Dillon and Deliverance. Yeah, good stick work right there, but it looked like that was really Noah's fault. He had nobody there, you know. Obviously, he's going to take it outside. There's nobody out there, you know. He's going to be a wide open touchdown. So, really good stick work right there by Deliverance, but more so on Noah's part, just poor stick work, poor defense, and, and that's why he was able to break that run. Noah hasn't been nearly as talkative this match as he was in his first match. He's down 17 to 9. Johnson testing that left side. Good gain on first down. I don't know why he would go to any other formation outside of goal line. If, if my opponent's not going to come out on goal line versus my goal line, I'm going to run goal line every single format, every single play. Excuse me, now it's third down. Crosses that first down marker, picks up another first down. Yeah, I'll just run dive every single play. I mean, Deliverance is just giving it to him here. I have four to five yards every single time. And, you know, 45, if you do the math, four to five yards, that's going to get you a first down every single time if you want it. It just, you know, sometimes Noah just becomes impatient, tries to run a stretch, and, you know, he kind of loses like three or four yards. Chris Johnson, 25 carries, 97 yards. It really speaks to that bend but don't break mentality. Yeah. 17 to 9, your score right now, 345 left to go in the ball game. Now, Philip Lindsay. Okay, Finds a little bit of a hole sneaking through and punching past the first down marker. Yeah, Lindsey actually has better stats than Chris Johnson. He's averaging around like 12 yards per carry, so I'm not saying put Lindsey in the game, but I don't know what, what type of magic is going on when Lindsey's in the game. Johnson back in the ball uh -oh. game. Uh oh, watch out! Chris Johnson and in too much speed! Touchdown, Noah! And if I'm Noah, man, he has shown no run defense versus the dive. I'm going for two. Run and dive again, and we're tying up the game. Put some pressure on deliverance. Don't let him, you know, go out here, you know, run into this bubble screen stuff. Let him think a little bit. Uh, I, with 3.15 left to go in the game, you going for two here? I am, and I, if I was deliverance, I would run commit right here because I've been giving them the same look. And it looks like he does run commit. Oh, stop short! So close to get in right there. Probably about a half yard short right there. Maybe if he had that Corey Dillon a little bit of a bigger back, he would have filed forward into the end zone. But Deliverance stands out for himself. Now we're right back in that same situation we had earlier. Up by two points. De Noah has to come up with a stop. Uh-oh, watch out. Oh, my God. And I looked at the stats of all 16 competitors. Deliverance averaged the highest special teams points percentage. So a lot of his points come off of kickoffs, all that special team stuff. So... You know, look for him to make plays like that throughout the tournament. He almost got out of there. Yeah, he sure did. That was it, a scary play. It looked right there on the replay. The fullback actually picked up the block, but somebody else was able to get off their block and get to the running back before he got in that two-point conversion. Just a crucial play right there. So deliverance now. Looking to bleed clock. 3-10 left to go in the ball game. Noah does have all three timeouts. A little bit of a user juke to break away from one tackle, but ultimately brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. And Noah could feel it, man. If he stops one more time running the ball, he's, he knows he's going to force Deliverance to pass the ball. And we haven't seen Deliverance pass at all other than a bubble screen. We don't know what route combos he likes. So it might catch Noah off guard, whatever Deliverance might come out in, in, third, in you know, second or third and long. I'd like to see him go to the pass here. Deliverance nursing a two-point edge. Mm. On second and 11. Does he go to the air? Does he keep it on the ground? Not he does fan. go to the air. Not a fan of this he's looking. Oh. He's got a man open. There it is. It's Kittle for first down. That's a big play. Yeah, I love him going to the pass right there. You know, if you if you wait, you just run halfback dive. You lose a yard. You get the third and 12. It's going to be so obvious that you're passing the ball. Going to the pass right there on second and down is crucial because Noah has to still play the run. So when you're in a run defense, it's really difficult to stop the pass this year. Great call there by Deliverance. So Noah's got two timeouts and the two-minute warning left. Yeah, and it was just good awareness by Deliverance. I thought it was a bad rock home because if he played zone, Noah, if, if Noah played cover two, cover three, you know, I felt like nothing would have been open. But since he, uh, Deliverance knew that he's playing a man-to-man -man type of defense, he had two man beaters on the play. And, you know, he's just going to pick between the two, whoever he uses. Corey Dillon, this time stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It's second and 12. You know, Deliverance can feel it. He's one first down away. He knows if he can get one more first down, this game's going to be put on ice. Yep. And if you're Noah, you, you know, you, you remember that no, that Deliverance passed the ball right here in this situation. Right. So you got to play pass defense. Instead, he runs it. Mixing it up. A solid run on first, or on second down, rather, but still brings up a third and, you know, a relatively long third down conversion make. And this is the biggest play in the game. You don't want to give up five yards, 
or and you don't want to give up a touchdown because if you give up five yards, you can put him in field goal range. The 38 yard line, I, I think you could kick the uh, field goal in mud draft. So you want to be stingy here. You you don't want to give up anything. You these guys just play stingy. He's coming out in shotgun. Interesting. Noah, and I learned his last time out there, folks. Look for that out route again, maybe. Third and seven. So much riding on the line on this one play. I don't think Can Deliverance good. deliver the goods Honestly, on third and seven? I am not a fan of this play. Dropping back to pass. Oh. He's got some so space on the right side. Finds a man, and there he is. It's Grant. That's going to do it. That's an absolute dot. You know, Deliverance, one of the more aggressive players in this tournament. If, I, I promise you, if he got stopped right there, he probably would have went for it on fourth down. Let's go, man! Come on! And almost a delayed reaction there from Deliverance. But he's fired up. <laughs> that was pretty delayed. Uh, it, he was lagging a little bit right there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it took him so long to get that out. But that was an absolute laser right there. Pretty poor defense by Noah. He had to choose one. It didn't matter. It was, if he went to one, the other one was going to be wide open. That was a phenomenal game. I'm, I'm confused by this here. Why not try to kick the field goal? 